I was going to say, I don't know if people realise this. I know we've mentioned it in one of the earlier episodes, but that we can't see each other. No. Um, Because that, that just adds a level of risk there by video calling. Yeah. Um, so we don't do that, but it means that we don't actually get to see each other till, well, I for get me to it's see, when the podcast comes out. I get to see us earlier than you out. do. Yeah, you get to see like... Um, yeah, you you get to see it in the edit, and then I see it when it's posted. You see, you see um, the results of what I've done. It was the other day when you were, like you were wearing a turtleneck, and I was like, "Ooh, sleek." You've worn it before. I've seen you wear, wear, like wear it before, but it was just like I didn't know that you were wearing it. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't. I was envisioning you in a t-shirt or a hoodie, and then when I saw you in like a bougie turtleneck, it's understandable. Like, you know, you're like, "Oh my god." Is that what he looked like? To be honest, I normally, when your videos come through, I normally see them and I'm like, oh damn, I really didn't dress up for this. <laughs> oh, you say that. No, no, no. Like, you say that. I saw, I was going back through all of the old clips and there was one that I decided, like one video, I, I think I've not worn makeup a couple of times, but there was one where I looked, I don't know if I was ill, but I looked particularly rough. And oh. I like I was just looking at myself and I was like oh my god I was just like wearing a grey t-shirt and I think because I'd made the effort in the other podcast because right. I made no effort and I just like looked a bit ill I just like you know when you're like oh now I have to make an effort well I've never thought that when I've looked at it if that helps thanks boo that's all right you're all good um you're gonna be shocked when you see my video today tomorrow Mm, yeah, you'll see it today. I'll see it probably. today. I mean, I'm now low key concerned, in a, in a, I, I'm worried but excited. I think. I d yeah. Right. Welcome I'll, to I'll, World's I'll take podcast. you through. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back. Hi, everyone. I don't know what episode we class this now, because Chris We're fucked on 18. up whilst I was away. We're on 18. We're on 18. I mean, can but I you, just say, You did 18.2. No, no, I did 17. Okay, that's a whole other thing. We'll come back to it. Can yeah. I just say, first of all, welcome back to the World to Race podcast. How, how, how have you been? Have you recovered? Have I recovered? Not really. <laughs> no, I just, I just meant that, like, them, not you. Don't care about you. We broke up. We're like scraping back our relationship now. We did not. We did not break up. It was not did, a breakup. Did you see I the comment just... on TikTok? I was wondering if that was a friend of yours or was that a, a listener? Which on TikTok? Which saying, comment was it? About um. Oh, guys, stop messing me around. Have you actually split up or something like that? And I no. was like, I don't think I've seen that one. <laughs> did you not see it? <laughs> No, it was like, stop messing with me, guys. I don't know if you're being serious or not. And I thought it was very clear that I was just away for. A yeah, let of me weeks. just. I mean, I just to. Um, I definitely it's a. We'll come. We'll, we'll we'll discuss it more in a bit. I'm sure. But um, basically, Kat was away for a couple of weeks, and I thought, right, we have two kind of options. Either we just do what we normally do and don't release anything, or. I've got to try and like fill the gap somehow. If yeah, I put no, something no. out there, maybe that will kind of do what I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll check later. I was we'll just see. like, this guy is a workaholic. I I gave him a free card, like a free pass to have two weeks off, and he chose not to have it. <laughs> but it, um, were you going to say something else, or was it just about the sex off thing? I feel like I interrupted like. Twice. Oh, I was going to tell you about my morning. Yes. Oh, I'll tell you why I took two weeks off as well, briefly. It was my nan's 70th birthday last week, and the week before that was the um, EP album live stream launch, which was so stressful. It's very hard to do a live stream in the middle of the countryside of multiple cameras uh, across two days. I've learnt that now. I quite enjoyed it. Oh, with a full it. lighting rig. There was the noises, though, the, like, crackle in it, and that was difficult it was the thing is right i could um i could understand why i'm sorry by the way while we're doing this i just noticed that my glasses are a mess so i'm cleaning them 
which means that people will now, if you're watching the video version, this is me without glasses. Hi. Um, I can't actually see... <laughs> I can't actually even tell what I look like because that's how bad my eyesight is. Um, so that minus six. Yeah, in probably eyes. a good thing. No, minus <laughs> six in one eye, minus five point seven five in the other eye. So I'm pretty blind, um, and oh, I just fuck. had to clean my glasses. Anyway, as I was saying, I didn't. I just it was too much of a mess. And I couldn't see. Anyway, um, the uh, yes, the music. Um, I liked it because it was, it just it, it was real. You know. There's something about yeah. that that I've missed over the last... It's one of those, like, so we haven't done skates gigs or anything, or even lockdown or anything like that. And, like, yeah. this kind of stuff always happens. I don't think I've ever yeah. been to anything live that's just worked. It doesn't. It, something always has to get you, and it's the tiniest thing. So, like, yeah. every time I had that, I was, like, weirdly nostalgic. I was like, this is, this Aww. is, this is it. This is it. And you know what? It didn't take away from the fact that it was pretty good. I loved watching yeah, it. Piers was um, I was happy. In his element, I haven't seen Piers playing like, obviously for a live year for now, like, too far too long, and um, it was great music, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I loved that. I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited to to get the stuff out now. Um, we've got we did like um, donations and stuff, which some a certain someone did a cheeky donation. Then if you um, have to be. Yeah, and so we did that, and so I've literally behind me now. I've I've had to change the camera angle slightly because on the spare bed is all the piles of merch from people who have donated, and it's been there for like I don't know four or five days. But um, we had to wait for a certain Tony Hadley to. Um, Are we doing? Are we going off. for the name? Are we going for it? Yeah, he's well. I mean, we, we it was it was mentioned in the live stream, so I feel like it's okay. Yeah, but um, Mr. Spandau Ballet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I honestly, when Piers told me initially, I was like, "Was I misread? Am I blind?" <laughs> like, I'm so, we like, you mean him? We were sc so scared to tell people in case things fell through. And like his name, like the his name is now uh, PRS up to the song and everything. So like it's it. This is official. It's happened. Yeah, yeah, it's happened. But basically, he wanted to make some last minute changes to the song um, before we sent it out to people because obviously this is like an early release. So we had a delay on that. So Pierce is actually in the studio now, just making the final touches before we can. Send it off. I'm very excited. Which is, which is crazy. It's crazy. I'm very excited. Yeah. Um. So that's where I've been. And you know, a um, rather wonderful thing is to. <laughs> I was gonna say with the merch stuff, I put in a a t shirt for your sister as well. I was like, I don't know if she'll wear it, but God. you know, she actually likes stuffy stuff. She came in once while oh. I was doing some like stuff for my stream over at uh. I love how you said TV she actually. Crispy two one one seven. Um. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Um, and I, here's does I used one of Pierce's songs as the. Uh, oh yeah, the yeah, ending. yeah, yeah. You used uh, my it. sister walked was in. It, was it the Pierce on. Nolan solo thing? Wasn't it? Um, was it Toffees? No, I think it were. It was buried in gold. From, uh, oh, buried in gold. Yeah. My last EP. Yeah. Um, I put it in. My sister came in while I was doing. She's like, "Is this Toffees?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Like, oh. So we've got a, you know. Kind of thing. And I know I say actually like it's a shock. It's not really a shock, but like it, it was just one of those things she came in and like I don't know, I was like, was this? Yeah, no, I knew it. I was just and winding she you was, up. She was like So you know, I'm I'm just what I'm even in my spare time, I I You're grow promoting. the Toffees fan base and the Piers no I love base. how you basically work for us <laughs> and you pay us. It's unpaid. I literally use one of our Piers podcast posts to um, to promote it. Oh my god. I was also going to say that um, Pierce this morning, I was saying about how good your edits were and um, and he was literally like yeah, they're insane. He was like hyping you up and, at like 8am this morning. Oh my god. You guys are party kind. I mean... So, so you are valued. It was because um, somebody had shared that edit that you'd done of the 
last serious podcast we did yeah. um, about film music awards. Yeah. And I didn't know if they'd contacted you about it. And I was like, well, it's there for people to share anyway. So it's not like... No, the first time I, I heard about surprised. it was last night. I looked, I looked at it and I was like, hello. <laughs> um, I thought that was really cool. It's a like profit for um, female and non-binary yeah, exactly. musicians. Yeah, exactly. It was really it? cool. I, I, it was nice to see. And it was nice to, because obviously like... I made the post, but it was your research and stuff to find those those statistics and stuff that I just put together. So I was like, this is nice. This is like a, a good, like it's, it was a payoff for, 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 for us both, for like the whole thing. Both, yeah. Like, I, I liked yeah, it. Yeah, like good. definitely. I just really liked your, like the your style of editing, like when you do those stop little. This. Yeah, it's just. Mm, Are you, oh. stop. It's like we're friends or something. I know, I know. You want to um, do you have any interesting, funny stories from your your nan's birthday before we talk about two weeks off a bit more? To be fair, not much. There was some dodgy karaoke going on. Standard. But um, but th- th- what's probably more funny is what happened to me this morning. Oh my and goodness! Yes, of course. If I don't laugh about it, I'll. Ah, one of it's those. not that bad. It was one of those days where, like, everyone has them every now and again, where just everything just goes a little bit wrong, and then you just you just get more and more pissed off. And I was worried that I was just going to be, like, come back to the podcast and be like, yeah, whatever, cool, meh. Mm-hmm. Like, because <laughs> I was just so pissed off. So, this morning, wake up at 8 a.m. I was like, loads of time um, to get ready for the podcast, and I wanted to do a workout because I... Um, I had results day. Oh my god, I'm gonna take so many details in this story. So I had results day two days ago, and Pierce and I had booked away. F- uh, he had a voucher for his birthday from my nan. Funny enough, to go away for a night. So we did a bit of like celebrating for that. Is that where the key and... pictures were from? Yeah, incredibly. Took them outside of church. It took it. I'll show you the bloopers from that. And I'll send them to you. You can input blooper. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And so, yeah. So we we went away. And Pierce's parents, they lost their spare key to our house for ages. And I thought they didn't have it. And they do this thing. Whenever we go away, they meddle. And so this time I came back. And other than the fact they'd taken all of our dog bowls, which... Like they were looking after the dog, so I was like, fair enough, um, and the dog food and stuff. But yeah, that was fine. And I think, oh great, they haven't meddled. Maybe you know, maybe I can start trusting them again. They turned off our timer for the hot water. <laughs> so this morning I do my workout. I do cardio, so I am sweating. I stink. And I might like my hair's all up, and it just needs like I just need a wash. And I've I've I was running my bath slowly whilst I was working out, and I thought that's odd. Like it's cold, and I thought, oh maybe I just had it on. You know sometimes if you have this tap on too slowly, the hot water doesn't come out. Yeah. So I thought maybe I did that. So I'm running it, and it's just cold. It's like ice cold. I was like great. Um. So I go and look, and sure enough, fucking hot water's off. And I was just so annoyed. Anyway, I had to wait like an hour for the hot water to to heat up Mm -hmm. so I could have my bath. Eventually, I get in my bath. And then Pierce's dad... Oh my God, that's my stomach rumbling. Um, (laughs) Pierce's dad comes into the house. I was thinking... Why didn't I fucking lock the door? I don't know why I didn't. Catsy, Catsy. I'm like, hi, Steve. I- I'm in the bath. I- I'm in the bath, Steve. I'm in the bath. And he's going, are you decent? I was like, no, I'm in the <laughs> fucking bath. And, I- and he sort of did this thing. So I was- it was like he got offended. I didn't say I'm in the fucking bath. I was just like, I'm in the bath. I said it. I was a bit pissed off by this point. It's like, I finally got in a bath. I needed to be quick. Anyway, he then... I I was like, I think he left, but I didn't hear the door shut. I then hear this banging around in the house. I'm like, what what the what the fuck is going on now? Um, I call Pierce. I'm like, do you know? Because 
um, his dad doesn't use his phone. Of course so not. I was like, oh, um, yeah, a bloody boomers. Oh, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was like, is your dad in our house? Because I can hear a load of banging around. And that Pippin and Peg, they they don't really like bang around too much. They Pippin sometimes walks into a door, but it's like one one bang and then that's it. How many times am I going to say bang? Anyway, say it a couple more. I think it's good. Bang bang. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. What happened was essentially he'd let Dolly in, which is the hyper freaking dog who went into our bin, Mm -hmm. ripped everything up Mm -hmm. across the house. Mm -hmm. And the reason I didn't hear the door shut was because Steve didn't shut the front door. So I, the whole house was freezing because the front door had been open. There's just like ice cream pot, like wrappers, everything's ripped up all over the house. And I'm like picking up, I pick up my dressing gown. Piers has borrowed my dressing gown and taken the tassel out of it. So I've not, I'm not done up. I'm basically, like, butt naked with this thing wrapped around me. <laughs> it's picking up all these scraps of, like, paper. And then I pick up this one thing, and it's got all slobber over it, where they'd been trying to eat it. So then my hands are all slobbery. And I was just like, what the fuck? And I'm trying to do my makeup. Joe's calling me, like, five times. No, it was, that was just, like, with, with this morning. It wasn't, like, anything disastrous. And then I was... I realised I didn't have very much time and I wanted to do some TikToks um, for the podcast account and getting ready and, right, I don't know how you actually pronounce the name, Maniskin? Man- Maniskin, you know the European yes, guys. Yes, of course. Ma- Manskin, Man- Maniskin. Carry on, carry on, move on. Whatever. I wanted to do like makeup, sort of like inspired by them and do it on the podcast pa- uh, podcast channel. I thought that would be cool. So I needed a bit of time to do that. But no, every freaking five seconds something else went wrong. I mean, oh then we both know that if there's any like opportunity for things to go wrong, they will. It and if you wrong. need to do something, even more things will go wrong. It was even something stupid. So I was like, okay, well it's it's ten to. Chris is normally late. I still have time to like set up and like listen to the songs and stuff. And I come in. I turn on my computer at the wall and then the speakers, I'd left the speakers on like a high volume. Oh, no. So they start playing white noise so loudly, almost burst my eardrum, like so painfully mm-hmm. loud. Mm-hmm. That was great. And then I couldn't find my XLR. Um, that had been tucked away when we had people over and stuff. So I am a happy bunny. It's been quite the morning for you, hasn't it? I just, it's like, it's not even 12 o'clock and... And you're already done with the day. Tapped out. Tapped out. I enjoyed that. And I was so excited to chat to you as well. (laughs) And then I was just put in a bad mood. But I'm I'm like, I'm still, I'm still, I'm happy now. I'm glad you're happy. I'm happy to have you back. I've locked the front door as well so no one can walk in today. Wise choice. Yeah. I, um... I think somebody's losing their spare key. <laughs> well, I think it will have to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's been a weird couple of weeks without you. I'm not going to lie. What What have you actually been like? Obviously, you've been doing these clips and stuff. But what, what have you been up to in these two weeks? Because we've barely spoken. Not a lot. So, I mean, part of the reason why I felt confident in, um, in doing the kind of compilation episodes is because I actually had a week off work. Um, oh. and I was like, nice. And I, I basically, I've had like two, like weeks off work so far this year. So I got a chance to do some streams that week. I think I streamed like every day, um, over at twitch.tv forward slash crispy2117. Um, check it out. Um, I'm getting better at like saying that quickly, you know? Um, yeah. No, no. So I did that. That was really good. I did like seven, eight days of like streaming in a row which is really good um definitely yeah. more comfortable doing it which is always good and um i also i looked at my you know how you just like things get out of control like on your hard drive and stuff like oh my god you just you realize that you've got so much shit on that 
<laughs> yeah. So I was like, I, re I realized that and I was like, I've got to do something about this. This has reached like a critical point now where I'm actually not going to be able to save like a Word document or something. Um, yeah. And, you know, part of that was realizing I have all of the files from the podcast episodes we've done so far, like oh seventeen God. episodes, and I've that not take deleted up so much space. But it was what, including videos, including the videos, yeah. <gasps> um, and I like that's torture. I have for to your convert. I have to convert my video because for some reason my editing software doesn't like the video in the format it's in, so it has to be converted. So, like, effectively, my videos are twice. And like all the audio, like sometimes I've had to edit things in Audacity, and Audacity files are huge. Um, oh my god, yes. I managed to clear two hundred gigabytes from my hard drive by um by getting rid of stuff. But I realised if I'm gonna like, I can't. I didn't. I, I, to be honest, I'm entirely confused why I was holding on to all of that stuff. But I was like, hang on. Yeah. We can use this. We can make this a positive thing. Oh, and so that I was makes like, sense. This is it. We can basically go back through and like. Oh yeah, I didn't even process that you would have needed the raw footage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was me being dumb. Yeah, I yeah. It really... wasn't like I went to like the actual board or anything. Right? No, no. This was raw no, stuff. Yeah. And I was like, let's use this. Yes. Let's use this <laughs> space hog on my hard drive and make something fun out of it. Um. So that we can never be employed. <laughs> So they, I mean, basically, I took a week off work to do work. It's just that this work is unpaid work. <laughs> In fact, you actually pay money out. I it. actually spent, it was terrible, but um, I, oh, I love doing it. It was really fun to, um, I I've actually had a really good positive thing. And it, like, it's, it's just a really nice development. I've realised I am quite proud of what we've done. In this yeah, podcast. like I'm happy. I kind it. of do that thing where I'm like, I get a bit embarrassed, and I'm like, oh, like, oh, you don't need to listen to it, or whatever. Yeah. And I still kind of feel that way because I prefer it to be people I don't know, if I'm honest, listening, than people I do know. I think it's hard to get people I do know to listen to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, saying that, the people though, who know me don't want to hear my voice. They're like, oh fuck this, I can't listen to more. Not of them. again. <laughs> um, but. Guitarist Abby. Yes. I don't know why. I was going to say, yeah. Awesome you, I'm guitarist just saying, Abby. Um, <laughs> awesome Abby. <laughs> awesome Abby. <laughs> she she um, listens to the podcast Aww. and sometimes she'll like just chat to me about random bits of it. I'm like, oh fuck, I forgot people. Like, it doesn't just go into a, you know, a black hole. It, it you know, people listen to it. It's, Which is um, it's crazy, scary. Isn't it? It's weird. But, you know, I like. Sorry. I'm really proud of like this podcast, and I'm like actively like. I'm very good at playing down the things that I make, or anything that yeah. I do. And I'm like, oh, it's all right. It's okay. And you know what? Yeah. I've come to a conclusion about the World's Race podcast. I think it's pretty good. I I like it. I like the World's Race podcast. <laughs> I like I it. Like we it. like it, and that's all that matters. I I think it's pretty good. You know, it's not the best thing in the world, um, but you you're so motivated with it as well. Like you put in so much work. I think like, I enjoy it even more than even... I did when we started. Weirdly, I definitely enjoy it more because I don't feel nervous anymore. It feels mu much more like we're just chatting. Yeah. I think because I I trust you to edit out if I say something that's gonna really like. <laughs> embarrass me i don't know no although we keep in most of the embarrassing bits i just mean like like we said before wording things badly um that that's the fear with putting stuff online is that we don't want to get cancelled you don't want to get cancelled i don't want to get cancelled for accidentally i don't think we've ever said phrasing something any yeah like i don't think we've ever said anything I don't think either of us have ever just... done anything that would mean we should get cancelled. I don't think any of us would. I said something about kicking a pigeon at one point. Oh. I think that was probably... Or kicking a chab. Right. Well, I mean, I also said putting children on a leash was the right thing to do. <laughs> so, it's not like... And that aired. <laughs> and that went out. That went out. If anything, I leave in my own stuff because I'm like, I'd rather I got cancelled than cat. So, I'm like... 
Aww. I think I'm just building up the evidence so that if it comes to cancelling, so if, if, if people think that you've done something which is really bad, I'll be like, hang on a second. You think that's bad? Look at this. And I pull out something and I'm like, oh my god, you're the shit one. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's me. Hey. So, um. That was so cute. Like, that that caught me off guard. I'd rather get. that. Oh my god. World Rights t shirt. Yeah. I'd rather get cancelled than you. Yeah. Aww. I'd I I'd be happy to have Bam. myself cancelled a thousand times before you got cancelled. That's that should be like a Valentine's Day card or some shit. That'd be so besties. much better than anything else, you know. Oh my god. I'm gonna get this you is the thing. Year. I would love to do merch, right? I know like we don't have the listeners to warrant merch, but <laughs> Bibby. Um sorry. Oh my god, this is why I swear I've got ADHD. I was literally like dog. <laughs> um but a lot of the stuff that we do for the band, I've now got into like a routine of, of making and stuff and finding ways of keeping it cheap, but not horrible for the environment, blah, 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 blah. So um, I might be able to work out doing like cards or something like that. For- what did you, um, what did you think when you saw the, because uh, I didn't talk to you about the, um, my plan for like, the, the podcast holiday, if you will. I oh, I loved it. I didn't mention it to you. So the first you'll probably have seen of it is like the clips like that. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of them? Well, I was just like, I was surprised, um, obviously, because I didn't know. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I, I, I feel like I'm not needed for this podcast anymore. You so because are. I I felt no, because all of your clips are so funny and I mean even when you were fucking words up, I I still found that like more entertaining than Not the worst thing but, is, sorry. I wish that I had staged I wish that I'd scripted those. Literally all of them were just me failing to look at my camera. And say some what I had it on the other screen. Right? Okay, so the camera is above my one of my screens. Screen next to it has got um, it had the script on it, ready to go. Okay, all I had. Oh, to you do, had a script written. All up. Wow. I had to do was read and look at the camera. And for well, some that's reason, really hard to do. I no, because then it. you don't want to say things in like a robotic way. Exactly. And I was like, it's got to sound natural. Like I don't want to be like. I don't want to look at the screen and be like. Because then you're just seeing this, and you're like, I don't want to just see the side of his face. Like, yeah, I wanted to make it personal. Actually, like it had to be what I wanted to say. Hence the script. It had to sound natural, so I needed to not just read the script. It had to feel somewhat personal, so I had to make sure I was looking at the camera. I had to deal with the fact that I hate looking at the camera, because at some point your eyes flip down to look at the screen. You're like, oh my god, I'm staring at. So there were so many, like, things going on, and I just consider, like, there's so much shit that got recorded. Um, like, I managed to create a week's worth of clips from both episodes. I could definitely still be releasing clips. Oh my god, that's crazy. Because, like, I went onto Spotify and you had, like, 40 minutes worth or something like that. That was crazy. But, um... Yeah, it wasn't great. I mean, luckily I managed to, like, hold it together in the end, enough to record these, like, two-minute connecting segments that, like, basically had, like, they were, like, loosely themed. Um, yeah, It was yeah. basically like I was doing my dissertation again. Like, I was going through and I was like, that's <laughs> a theme we can talk about. Um, it was quite... I, I honestly... I loved making it. I loved... It was really fun to go back and look at Aww. what we've done and, like, kind of go back to some of our, our, our You've, worst like, moments. come into yourself as well. Like, you're not this, like, awkward, anxious person anymore. you like... Well, I mean, you probably Sorry, did you are, not I see mean, the like, two weeks' worth of bleeper clips? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, you, you had the confidence to post that, which you would have never have done, like, five years ago. Oh, my God, no. no. You would have just died. No, and I won't lie um, to you. As I was making it, I was thinking, this might be... No one's going to want to watch this. No one's going to want to watch me fucking Aww, up. And I was Chris. like, fuck it, why not? Like, it, it made me laugh watching it back because it was just like, you can see how I'm really trying to hold it together and something happens, something tiny. Like, I'll trip over a word or I think I said, like, 
a good as place to start as any and i was like oh yeah yeah what yeah. the fuck why did and it just goes it just gone it like it but there are back. words that we say on a regular basis that make no sense and you just sort of accept them some of them i accept i mean like one of our episodes is called frailed which is purely yeah. based around the fact that it you just like said it, it. Sounds like it should be a word. It like it should be a word. And it was like, it sounded so much like it should be a word. I decided it was a word and made sure that our podcast was titled that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, look, put it like this. It's not a long... I will never go solo as a long-term thing. I didn't... As much as I enjoyed it, I think it reminded me how much I enjoy doing it with you. Because it was Aww. like you look back over it and you're like, we've had a lot of fun. Doing... Like we managed to. Oh yeah. Lockdown is pretty. I mean, okay, big shock. Lockdown shitty, um, <laughs> and it's not been fun, but it's like we've been able to make this like something good has come out of a terrible shitty situation, and yeah. I'm really glad that I get to do this with my best friend and make some awesome stuff that goes on the internet and people listen sometimes. So, um, oh, thank you for thank you. listening sometimes, some people. And I hope that some of you continue <laughs> to listen sometimes. Do you know what my favourite clip that oh, you've no. done ever is? Oh, no. Go oh, on. Um, Do you know? Have a guess. Um, I feel like you might know that. I'm going to say it's the one where I decided to eat whilst recording yes! the podcast. That's still my fa- The way you edited it with the, the um... The music, the music what was it? everything. The, like... It was all that's, that. still... that's one of the ones I've had most fun making. Honestly, but the worst thing was, I was literally crying, laughing at it the second time round. Like, I'd done that the first time and I was still cackling, howling when I was showing Pierce. And Pierce was like smiling and he like laughed a bit, but I was just like in floods. And I was like, how are you I was finding this? Like, <laughs> I made it and I'm thinking, this is often what happened. Okay. Like, Welcome to behind the scenes. So we make the clip, or you know, it, it, we make it. And I, I normally show my sister. First of all, my sister is like, she's like quality she's control. She's co-editor. Yeah. She's like quality <laughs> control. She oh looks at it God. and tells me. It's just, normally what happens is I get like, I can take you through the steps. Okay, so first of all, you get like a smile from her. It's like a smile because she, she's. She forgets that I'm I'm waiting for reaction. So she smiles, laughs a little bit, realises that I can see it, catches it, and then proceeds to tell me how stupid it is that I chose to, for example, try to eat and hide it during a podcast recording. It is stupid. <laughs> she like, you know. But that's like when you're at school and you're like trying to You know, it, it was terrible. Like, it was shove terrible. It under your desk. But she you know, <laughs> she shuts me down and reminds me that, that was a stupid decision. And then I'm like, but is it funny? And she's like, yeah, okay, it's pretty funny. And then occasionally I'll send it to you, and I'll be like, this is okay, do you think this is all right? Um, and I'll see what you think. And I'll sometimes send it to a couple of other people that I like trust and be like, can you just, can you just watch this and tell me if it's funny? Um, yeah. And it, it, at that point I'm like, sure, let's whack it on the Instagram and TikTok and see how it goes. And like, it... It's one of those where I mean, I've actually learned something. On Instagram, you can hide your um, like and view counts. Yes. I don't know if you've noticed, I've done that for a couple of hours now. And it's oh, a you? very liberating feeling. How how come you did it, though? Like, as in, why did I do it, or how did I do it? No, like, why? Why? Like... Um, because... As much as I... And that wasn't, like, in a bad thing. That wasn't, like, a why no, no, you no, do no. that. No, I just it, mean, like... like as much as I will tell you that I don't care about it, I do. I am my own worst yeah. enemy, okay? And I like have this idea in my mind of like, and it's normally because I'm terrible at comparing it to other things. So I'll scroll down and like, I'll see a post and someone's got like 114 likes and someone else has got. It. And then, even if mine has only just gone up that second, no one's liked yet, and I'm like, well, I'm a failure. I've I've ruined it. I've ruined yeah. the podcast. Yeah, That's no, it. I'm... Delete everything. Delete the account. Um, and it's terror. It's really toxic. Like I got to the point where sometimes I refresh it within the first hour, and I'm like, come on, come on, where's it going? Come on, anyone, anyone looking at it yet? Why is no one looking at it? What do I need to do? What do I need to? And I realize, yeah, that's just really awful. 
Um, I think it's a very similar thing to getting grades at school and at university. Yeah, exactly. Since university, I've become so, like, obsessed with my grades. Mm. And I, like, so like I said, I had results day. And I just wanted, I'm guessing you're like that too, because we're so similar. But I got some pretty good results. And I looked at it. Thank you. Um, I looked at it and I went, oh, I was like, I was like, oh my God, yay. And then I was like, oh, why, why, oh, you might ask. Because I realised that I have to do as well as that next semester. (laughs) You know, like there was that sort of, there was that tiny second of happiness. And then it was like, oh fuck, there's now a pressure to do that well in my final semester. Um... I don't know, like, with, I think I told you this, but with postgraduate stuff, I don't know if it's just master's or what, but, well, yeah, because PhD is different, but um, at my uni, you have to get, even if you get a distinction overall, like, with your percentages, you have to still get a distinction in your final dissertation or final project, otherwise, even if, you could have, like, 75% overall, Mm -hmm. Um, and you wouldn't get distinction unless you had one in your final project. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, yay, I got these grades. And now there's so much pressure because if I don't get these grades again, then those grades would have been for no reason. I remember when I was in my final year. Um, so you finished second year. So I mean, I, it obviously depends it changes depending on the uni in the course but for me it was second year it was 25 percent of my final grade he says i'm already oh yeah i still myself. find that so weird it was a proportion okay so it was like second year was a, a quarter or a third or a smaller yeah and and third year was worth more and i i didn't do bad like i didn't like okay let's let's start at the end okay <laughs> You got a first. I got a first in the degree. end, so I did something <laughs> right, and I, I think at the end of second year I was just about on a first. I think I was just, but it was at the point where they would round up to a first. Yeah. Um, but it was still like sixty nine point something. You know, like it. It was just yeah. Within. Um. And it really for the next year I had a um. I probably still got it somewhere. I basically, one evening was like, okay, I need to work out what I need to get in every single assignment this is over the next what year I did. to make yeah. sure that I get the first at the end of it. Because I was like, I really want that. You know, everyone goes in wanting a first. No one goes into uni thinking, I want a 2-2. I two, don't know. Two. I mean... No, like, I was like, I'll be happy with a 2-1 no, no, when see, I this first is the thing, started. Right? I was, I always said I would be happy with a 2-1. Okay, and I, I think I would have been happy with a two one. But it's knowing that like, if, so you're, if you're if you're if you're if you're able to get into uni, then you're almost certainly capable of getting it first. Right? Yeah, I agree with that. I, I would I say that. if you're maybe if you're if you Oxbridge might be slightly different because I know that it's like I don't, like although actually a lot of my friends who are Oxford who tried really hard got first. So I, I, I think anyone thing. is capable of it. I think anyone is capable. It depends slightly on the course and the and the and the uni and everything else. But it, in terms of the basic thing, you're capable of that for sure. So I knew it was yeah. something that I could do if everything worked out well for me. And but I was always ha- I, I kept saying, you know, I'm happy with two one. I I went in expecting I would get two one. And when I realised in the second year that it was within my grasp to get first, it was yeah. possible. It became this new thing of like, and it was this weird external pressure because I, I was really worried for some reason that people would expect me to get a first and then be disappointed in me if I didn't get one. So it became this weird external thing of I need to get one to make sure that people are proud of me because otherwise they'll be disappointed in me. I don't know where that it, that's clearly a whole. To other... be fair, I expected you to get a first, so it's not like a complete. I wouldn't have been disappointed. No, but you if wouldn't you have looked at me and thought, "Oh, you're a failure." No, and that's where my mind was ending up. It was like it um, catastrophized it so much. So I, yeah, you know, I basically went through and made a spreadsheet in like September, October. Yeah, <laughs> you psychopath. Out. I know. 
I worked out, you know, I knew exactly what weighting everything had. And I sat there and worked out and, you know, we were completing things as we went. So at some point, the uh, the schools were getting locks in for different things. And it was like, right, I need to do this well in this to get this. I need to do this well in my dissertation to get this. Um, and I would beat myself up if I looked at it and I was like, the average is going to be too late. I would hate it. I would hate it. I would like have a few days of looking at myself in the mirror and being like, you suck. You've thrown it all away for that one like moment. And it's like, it's ridiculous. Like, I wasn't allowing myself to be happy when I was getting a, a result. Like, I got like 75 in one of my essays, right? 75 is a great, great result. Yeah. And I definitely, I knew that. I'm not saying it wasn't. But you didn't feel the... Uh, it was like, like, oh, this is fucking brilliant. And then, how does this impact on everything else? Does it actually make a difference? And I, that's the thing that was going through my mind, was this does this make I a do. difference? Yeah. I was like, you can't let yourself be happy because you just succeeded in no. a piece of work. Someone read your and you work can't and shake said, it off. this is a good quality. This is, you have answered the question. You've done... This falls in the highest category. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is the highest category you can get. And you're asking yourself, is this enough? Like, yeah. that's not a good place to be. No, like, I've de- this. I'm so glad you, like, not so glad you went through it, but I'm glad that you can relate to that because my obsession started much later than you. I, I blame Craig. I love Craig, but he's a <laughs> dick. Um, no, <laughs> I actually owe my getting a first, like, to him because <laughs> we sat down gossiping in a tutorial because you know that's what you do in tutorials <laughs> and then um i don't know i was saying actually there's quite a few people in the year i think who could get first and he went you know you can get a first right and i was like what <laughs> my average and so this is like um third year second semester mm mm-hmm. And, yeah, like, so for my last semester, wait, second, that's not right, third, I've, uh, whatever, so the the end of, um, like, last semester of third year, and um, he goes, yeah, you you can get first, I was like, my average is, like, 64, 65 from second year, and third year I got a couple of firsts, and then he was like, if you get an average of 72%, I think you, like we worked it out and it's 72%, I, could, I would get a first overall. And I was like, what? I didn't think that was possible. And he, he explained about exit velocity and how it would push my grade up to 69% and that would mean I could get a first overall. Mm. And And then from that meeting, I became obsessed. I was like working out exactly what I need to get in each of my modules. It's like weird because you. that's like a vote of confidence in you saying, hey, look, this is possible. You can do this, but also... <laughs> you're you supposed then... to be like, you can try. If you try, you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just like, you, you're capable of doing it because in the modules that you really liked, you 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 got first in. So like, why don't you just like knuckle down and then obviously covid happened and Mm. i didn't have anything else to do i was locked in my room i was like let's just see and then in his module i got over 74 percent it was 74 point something um and yeah like 72 in my final like disc composition or whatever and like it just so happened to to work out that way and it was just a but then it, and then I've got imposter, like imposter syndrome. Hmm. I earned that grade, and I still feel like I don't know, like I didn't deserve it. And I'm now I'm getting distinctions in my masters, and I still feel like <laughs> I don't deserve them. I just wanted to mention as well, while we're kind of on topic of things like this, um, you put out a really good TikTok. I feel on our our TikTok. Um, earlier in the week oh i really enjoyed it it really made me smile when i saw it it was um talking about i didn't even include jordan mccamper in it which i i realized afterwards and then i was like i couldn't i couldn't face i i just 
I think the reason I didn't put him in was just because I couldn't mentally prepare for Given another conversation. Given that I said I despised him, I'm, I'm, always, <laughs> I'm always concerned that he'll think that I hate him when actually I love him, I just can't process it. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, so it was all... I mean, please go check out. So basically, you know, you're like, our TikTok is doing all right. We're growing slowly. Um, it's, it's we're not growing, the biggest yeah. in the world. And so... But we've done really well in being able to make connections with Engage artists with and things artists, and like, like yeah. fuck, fuck me i mean oh, like, this is such a brilliant segue on our Sorry, instagram and simplicity. stuff we've had we've had sigrid like our videos we've had split and the dealer who's awesome literally commenting like a couple of times and like giving us like good feels georgia twin yonica fucking yonica sophie and the giants that was insane like it's crazy. All of these people who have supported us. It was when Teresa said that you guys made me cry or something yes. like that. Oh my god. Like... We got on their story. We were on Yonica's story. <laughs> they shared our clip, like, on this. And I was like. <laughs> like, it's really. It didn't matter if no one clicked on it. I was just like, oh my god, I feel so appreciated. Um, yeah. Even, like, on this TikTok, Danny Murphy's come in. Love you. I'm like. This is so lovely. And I thought it was really good. And then one person <laughs> decides to come in. You were so angry. I was oh my god! And I still am, which I... is why I've decided to talk about it. Because I wasn't going to. But I can't let it go. Um, I really think you should embed, like, just a tiny bit of you ranting down the phone to me. I will. I will try and um, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get that going. Because honestly, okay, so this person... They said, in the nicest way possible, why does this matter to any potential new listeners? First of all, okay, if you put in the nicest way possible, I know you're about to be a bit of a cunt. I think <laughs> I know it's about to happen. Because you don't need to say in the nicest way possible if what you're about to say sounds like it's in the nicest way possible. So let's just have that one there. Why does this matter to any potential new listeners? All right. Well, it's not going to make anyone listen because Sigrid liked one of our videos once, okay? We're fully aware that that's not going to make someone listen. But we're proud of what we've done. I feel like that might. I was like, I mean, it, to be fair, how, how do I fucking know? Like, maybe I'm I'm sure that some people saw us on Yonica's story and decided to come and have a little look at our Instagram. I feel fairly confident that probably happened and I'm glad I, if they did. That's lovely. Um... But I don't, it's not like I derive anything. I, I, I don't think that's going to be the convincing thing. I'm proud that we've been able to, like, make these connections with people. I'm proud that we've been able to make this podcast and actually promote some of the music we like listening to. And that the people who make that music have had a chance to hear that we love it. Because that's got to feel good if you make a song, right? If you Like, if you make anything and release it into the world, you want it to be liked and discovered yeah. and people to enjoy it. And that's what we do with the music we listen to. We're like, hey, we like it. <laughs> we love it. And uh, like, it's a chance for us to just send some of that love into the world. And like, I love it. We like split the dealer and people like that. Sophie and the Giants, when they've, we've been able to say that. And then they've come back and been like, oh, thank you so much. You know, and like, and then given us a compliment as well. It's like, oh, this is nice. It's like building each other up and making connections yeah. and all those kind of things. And we like what you do. You like what we do. Like, exactly. Th th that's th it's a. It's, and we're proud know, of that. Positivity. We're yeah. happy with that. I love to. I love that. I'm confident. It makes us feel more confident in what we're doing. And as I've heard many a time, you know, attract. Um, confidence is attractive. You know, people like. Oh my confidence. god! Yeah. People like that. So that was. I felt like Cat putting it out there and saying, "Hey." We're proud of this. Look at what we've done. We're doing well. We're growing. Yeah. People are listening. People are enjoying it. And people are liking it. So I think that's why it matters to any potential new listeners. Because we're making yeah, something you. we fucking enjoy. <laughs> like, fuck you, user 21879. Why would you listen if it was shit? Why would you listen if it was shit? You know? Why would you listen if I told you right yeah. now the World Trades podcast sucks? Um... It's a waste of your time. Every, you know, it's boring, it's dull. I, I wouldn't listen to it. That's not in any way going to make you want to listen to something. But saying, hey, 
we're really proud of what we're doing. We're not in any way sick of it. We're going to carry on. We love what we've been able to do with basically two of us sat in our bedrooms saying shit for an hour and a half, editing it down and putting it on the internet. Um, yeah. I'm proud of that, and I think that's why people should listen, because oh, completely, we yeah. have made something that we love. Um, and when I was making that TikTok, I was actually like, we've we've actually done a pretty cool thing here. Yeah, it's weird. You can lose sight of that sometimes. It's good to remind yourself of like what you've done, because it's like, hey, you know, be kind to yourself, loving yourself. Um, so in answer to that person, why does it matter? Because we love it and we think that people should listen to it. And I don't see why you have to be a cunt about it and come on and be like, yeah, nice is po- if you don't like it, scroll past it. If you need it. to say in the nicest way possible, you probably don't mean that. <laughs> scroll past it. I don't care. You know, I don't need that in my life. I don't need it. I really cannot. And I, I like replied and I am. Um, I don't know if you've yeah, seen you, my reply. You were a bit passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I was so passive aggressive. I said, I was it's nice. good to be able to celebrate your achievements. We're proud of what we've done so far and think it's worth listening to. Smiley face, love it. heart. Never replied. And I'm glad you didn't reply. I don't want to hear from them again. Um, because I'm not... I, I don't think it... I, I don't... To be honest, I looked at it and I was like... I felt like saying in the nicest way possible to start with. Fuck off. <laughs> like, because I don't think he needed... Or I, I don't know who they are. I don't think they need to say it. I don't think it was necessary. I don't think it added anything. I think it was yeah, a chance yeah, to basically yeah. go, you've wasted your time. And I think that was unfair. I didn't like it. Yeah. Plus, it felt like they were coming for my friend, and I was like, well, you can fuck off and get in the bin, son. Yeah, Like for sure. if you're gonna If you're going to do it, write it on the stuff that I've done. That's fine. Aww. I'll take it. But if you're going to go for Cat, I'll fucking take you down. There is a small yeah. list of people that are able to take Cat down. I consider myself to be on that list. Consequently, Brilliant. if you try and get on that <laughs> list, I'll fucking slap you down, son. Yes, exactly. I just love wanted you, to boo. say as a quick love you, boo. <laughs> should we go on to the music segment? I think we should start with Everything Everything, because okay. we've spoken about them so much before. And yes. It, um, if you're listening and you've listened to us from the start, you know we love Everything Everything. You do. Um, and if you don't, if this is your first time here, we love everything. We love everything. Behind me, like, oh wait, I, you know when you try to point something when you're looking at yourself in the camera and you Oh just my god, it, you're like... You're like, your hands are moving because like, uh... That is yeah. a... From the latest album, when they released it, they, uh... It was a limited, edi- limited edition um, Ooh. thing that was a... I mean, it's a signed, like, print of their, like... Something from their album. So, uh, you know, big fans. Big fans. Um... I've got technical issues. My mm. ca- my phone has filled up, mm-hmm. so just give me magnificent a, a momentito. I might I might talk. I think I can. I think I can talk. You just can't see my face. I, um, I mean, when you say you can talk, is this? Are you going to be trying to fix it at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, but, I'm gonna you know. say that maybe you should just focus on that. Okay. It's okay. just that normally I've. I mean, as someone who sat through. Uh, 10 episodes worth of us over the last two weeks. Whenever one of us gets distracted, things kind of fall apart a little bit. Yeah, that's so there's some that. there's some patterns there I've learned. There might be some truth to that. Anyway, okay, so... look, we'll, we'll push on if the video dies, video dies. Everything, everything. We love them. Yeah, back to that. I was going to say, it's very different to a lot of um, their other songs that we like. Yes. Um, because it's sort of like piano, simple... Um, and I really liked the production on it, where it has... So you've got the vocals, and they're sort of quite distant, um, lots of compressors, X, Y, Z, and then it suddenly splits to, like, pretty much raw vocals, Mm. and then goes back to this, like, distant um, spacing and stuff, which is really cool on a a nerdy technical level. I mean, I was completely shocked. I didn't know it was going to drop... And I, I was just like looking for YouTube in the evening, and we, me and my sister saw it, and we we're like, "Ah, oh, that's new. I've not heard this before." So we, yeah. we clicked on it. Um, and the first time through, I was like, "Oh, this is this is a cool start. This is a cool start." And I was almost waiting for like a drop, 
I was waiting for it all to like go full, like everything, everything. Everything, like, everything, right? yeah. Like electronic and I, and I didn't hate that. I didn't hate the fact it didn't do No, that. yeah. It's a very like, I think this is the last thing they're releasing of this like era, if you want to put it out, this like okay. cycle. Um, yeah. It's, de- it's definitely like, it gave me like, it gave me like a, I can't actually put it into words, but it gave me that like, f- there's something like a feeling there of like, it was, it was like, I felt the sadness, if that makes sense. Like, it was not just yeah. like, oh, this is sad. It was like, I actually felt sad and I was like, oh, and I, you know, okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to Chris's lyrics. I know you've missed them. Um, yeah. I, know, I think, are you going to talk about the pretend, um, like, enjoying pretending? And... Yeah, they tell us yeah. that we're over, and I don't th- but I don't think we're over, and do you know I like pretending? And that, I'm like... Yeah, so oh, clever. That's... It was just so sad. Yeah, really that's like, fucking sad. It's not like a... It's, um... It doesn't sound like... Sometimes you can have things like that and it's like, no, we can work through this. We can work through this. It's not over. It's not over. We can, like, yeah. find our way through this difficult patch. It's more like your relationship's dead. you got to give up. Like, you're just deluding yourself now. Yeah. You're in this, like, at- oh, God, that hurts, you know? Like, the th- thought of being in love with someone who, who there's not any hope to, like... We've all been there. We've all been there, like, God. In a back and forth thinking, oh, it might work this time. Uh, love it's... is always, like, a tough thing to um to do it. But it just, it got me in the feels. And I was like, it, everything, everything are very good at doing that. They either get in, the songs I think I can split it into, it's either it gets in my head or it gets in the feels. Yeah. You know, it's either something that's really intense and I just go, oh, damn, this is, like, intense lyrics. Or it, like, hits you emotion you're like, Oh no, that's yeah. not the song. It was one of the like gut punching ones, but like you say, the production was awesome. I love that. Um, I think it's really smooth, and nice, and it. It's weird. The rest of the um of the album that they released this time around is like quite um. There's a lot to it, you know. It 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 is generally quite an upbeat or upbeat in the sense that, you know, it's up tempo kind of thing. Um, yeah. And this is like. That's over now, you know, like. But it's over now. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, and it's, it's a very like unexpected. But I, I like, and I'm to be honest, it's one of those moments where I'm like, I'm excited for when they come back because I think this is, you know, it's the kind of that's the, they weren't able coming. to tour oh. it properly. So yeah, I think this is effectively the end of that cycle, and I am now always excited to see why, where they go next on this kind of journey because like they're one of those bands yeah. that every album they release something and you're like unexpected a bit different so it'll be good it'll be interesting to see where they go i think i i'm really looking forward to seeing them live at some point absolutely okay hit me i'm looking forward to seeing them live with you <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know why i did that <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's got to happen. Let's go for Yonica. Yeah, our friends I knew, I knew it Yonica. was happening. I knew um, it was going to happen. Raise your glass. Raise your... But I, I, I've got to stop singing because I'm, like, scared about getting copyrighted. <laughs> dodgy. No, because I see a lot of YouTubers, they start singing along, so they're like, the, the copyright's really strict at the moment. And oh, I don't, don't want to get us screwed. Um, Yonica played a... Download Pilot. Yes, they did. On the main stage, and it looked so awesome. I was it very must jealous. have been such a good feeling. Oh my gosh, yeah, especially with their songs where you can really wreak havoc <laughs> in the pits. Like, Definitely. I, just, I mean, with this it would have been emotional. It is very, because I heard it after I'd seen Thing Out Download. Okay, I can, like, the song itself is like, Finding yourself again, you know, like yeah, yeah, coming back and like stronger and better. But I and kind of with your took the context of like down the being a download and stuff, and I was like, okay. Well, it was like that same kind of thing of like COVID has been a, a tough time for everyone. It's been a really intense one, and like 
obviously bands haven't been able to play live and things. And, you know, I saw the picture of them standing on the main stage, looking out at all oh. these people gathered, and it was like, it was like a weird, like, celebration kind of thing. Yeah, let's celebrate that we, yeah, like... Raise your glass, it's it's That we've survived back. a pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, it sounds like it's, that we survived the pandemic, but actually, you know, like, lots of people have not survived the pandemic, and lots of things have not survived the pandemic, and it's good to know that, like, we're coming to the end, I guess, in one way or another. Yeah. We found and the way to... Like, when I say, like, survive the pandemic, or, like, I mean, I'm not... It, it wasn't sort of, like, obviously a lot of people haven't, like you said, but there's... We don't give ourselves enough credit for how much of a, like, toll... Yes. ...being in lockdown causes on us, like, mentally. Mm. Like, um, I sort of relate it relate oh my god why did my i picked up my old accent <laughs> um <laughs> re- <laughs> that was weird i've done that in a while um related english um <laughs> english, <laughs> related it back back to sort of going from uni living at uni and i didn't have this but a lot of people who go and move back home and they're back in their childhood bedrooms um and that sort of even though you're an adult and you have freedom, there's, there's, there's like restrictions and there's rules there. Um, and I feel like sort of lockdowns are probably a bit of a similar feeling to that. I, I can imagine. agree with that. I can agree. It's definitely a... You're free, but you're not free. And they're just, yeah. I, yeah, I was yeah. thinking we could talk about as the world, world caves in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I was like, I like this song. And then I was like, I know this song. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just shouted. The dog literally like jumped up. <laughs> no, sorry for your headphone ears. I am. Um, I tell you what, I saw, I saw on this cute video on Instagram. Of, like, uh, it's like a young child. Girl singing. At the like control of a speedboat or something. Oh. And the, like, the, he just like pulls back on the throttle slightly. Um, Obviously, like, he's like, I don't need that care or whatever. Is there like, like actually in control or something? And the song's playing. And it was just like the cutest video I'd seen. And I was like, Aww. oh, this is breaking me. Um, and I really like the song, so I went and checked it out. And uh, apparently, it's going viral on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, apparently, um, it's the whole thing. So maybe that's the reason I discovered. Yeah, it. that's why I know about it. It's because this this I think she's like fifteen, sixteen year old girl covered it. And yes. She did the the weird harmonies and sounded beautiful, and then I think a few people had given her hate for it. Yes. And then if for some reason, like the power of TikTok, then there was literally like a million videos up saying, "I can't believe," and I don't know, I don't because I wasn't there at the start. I don't know how many people actually were insulting. Well, I actually. So it stuff. turns out that I knew it before I knew it because my sister had shown me that TikTok. Of um, of of her doing the harmony, and you're like, some people are getting really pretentious about this and like stuff and like things. And yeah. she me, and I was like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was like, it was weird. I think that's the thing. It was weird. It was a weird harmony, yeah. And it was, so it was... I even I listened. To it and I was like, it's not bad. I'm not sure I I love it, but it's not bad. Um. But yeah, I know. That I I liked it so it. much because it was unusual. You just hear so many like thirds in harmonies these days and octaves. It was just nice to hear something a bit. She did good. She did good, and people really went. For it. And she's so young. It was just so not, not right to be doing that. It was crazy. Um. But um. It... Yeah, the song is. I mean, do you know what the song is actually about? No. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's gonna um. Uh, I'm kind of half reading from this article. Um, so, I've seen it in a few places. It's about a um, a thick, like an imagined night of romance in the middle of the apocalypse oh. between Donald Trump and Theresa May. Um, oh. Basically launching nuclear bombs and then deciding to like spend the night together. Um, it's such a serious sounding song as well. <laughs> I love it when shit like that happens. Um, and it, 
like the uh, the guy who wrote it was like it it sounded quite funny like being able to make it sound like it's just like a thing of like the world's ending let's have spend time together and actually this yeah. is whole meaning of just like yeah it's a thing and um it was like apparently it was also because it like kind of tapped into the whole like when Brexit was announced here and when Trump being elected was announced and everyone was like oh fuck it's going to yeah. be a shit time ahead. Um, so, but I really love this song. And it's a strange thing to say because I'm it's definitely inc- going to listen to it. Like, cause, like I, I just had heard the, oh, so many covers. I don't think I'd actually heard the uh, original. So I, I think that's a great song. I think it. aside from the lyrics and everything else, it sounds... I, I really... I just love the vibe, the sound of it, the... The piano. I love his voice. The way he's... I, yeah. I, I really love the song, despite the fact that it's either incredibly depressing or mm. satirical. Like, it, it, whichever way you look at it, it's definitely depressing. It's like, hey, we're all going to die in this atom bomb attack. Yeah. But it's just, like, very... I don't even know. I quite like it. I quite like it. For sure. Like, it, it, it's... Fun- like, it's just... But if you're yeah, if you're any way linked into like TikTok or anything like that, you'll know. <laughs> it was sort of like answered so much for me. <laughs> it's um, I like it. I like it. It's on brand for me to like something depressing. I know. Um, do you have anything else to add? No, I don't think so. Like, I started writing notes on it, and then as soon as I recognised, I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I know this. Well, right, what are you hitting me with? I'm going to hit you with uh, Gay for a Day. That makes me so happy. By, um, Flav- Flav- Flavia? Oh, dear. It's Fla- happened again. Flavia, Fla- Fla- Oh, now I can't remember. Oh. Like... Gay for a day by Flavia. Flavia. Now I feel like I'm saying it different. No, we've got to move on. Let's 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 let's, okay. let's forget. Look. Um. Yeah. So, I was curious as to see like what people would put as like the meaning of the song because it seems quite simple. I was like, I wonder if there's any deeper meaning to this blah blah. blah. And someone's put, uh. The meaning is simple. It means I'm gonna fuck your bitch. <laughs> I right. was like, I was like, I respect that. Let me get the lyrics up. Actually, um, have know. you got them up? I do. I do. This song it's, it's is is good. It does. Yeah, it's it's really fun and it's actually a bop. Like it's a lot more. Um, <laughs> Can I tell you what happened? Sass. Oh, I no, realised, I listened to it, and I realised that I was singing the lines, and I'm going to say it in the least, uh, I'm going to try and do it in the most monotone way possible, just for your enjoyment. Oh, no. I'm sat here singing, spooning and scissoring, I want you up on me, I feel the synergy between our bodies. Right. Yeah, and I just thought that was interesting that I was sat here just singing that, not thinking about it, and then I realised oh, it, and I was like... It. Yeah, I... I do get a bit, I think you can agree, oh, like, I think you're similar to me and um, stuff that's a bit, um, v- like, vulgar, I'd say, no, vulgar sounds like it's a negative thing, um, stuff that's, like, sexualized. I love it when musicians, like, do their bit, especially, mm. like, people like Ash Nico, blah, 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 mm. love it, but there's part of me that, like, goes, oh, I shouldn't be singing this. It's like, the very, this, this, this um, I always giggle. call it the very British side of me. Yeah. It's like, oh, just... hey. <laughs> yeah, sex Boobies. and things. <laughs> um, and it was one of the weird moments where I was like, I'm just singing it because it's got a snack in my head, but it's a bit of a pop. But um, he's definitely. But you know what? I love this. I think it's. I I I like it. Did you see my um Instagram post? I shared uh just a little clip of a a girl singing a song she wrote. Uh, I am sad, Dylan? No, that's not right. Possibly. Um, uh, she, 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 it was called Itty Bitty Titty Committee, I think. 
and um, a guy put a verse on it, and it was like really cool, um, and it just made me go tee hee titties. <laughs> I don't know. Every time, like... <laughs> every uh, honestly, I've got no words. It, it's she was calling them mosquito bites. I was like, oh my gosh, tee hee. Just... <laughs> It's very. I've got no. I can't even. Like, it's so, I feel embarrassed that I'm embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, don't. It shouldn't be. Although, to be fair, response. if it was. You, you might say, like, oh, you know, we get used to it when men are talking about, like, um, women and stuff like that. But I, I don't think that's true. Like, um, remember with the Robin Thick stuff? That made me uncomfortable then so i don't mm, think it's well, that necessarily was, that was like just a shit. or yeah what i like about um, this song is i just like the element of like it's a bit like finding yourself oh yeah With this one is a bit yeah. like you know like finding and maybe maybe it's just because i maybe i'm projecting because it's it's pride month and, and everything oh my god but it's yeah. a bit like it, it's almost like Discovering your sexuality, you know, discovering um, that, you know, maybe you've always thought you were straight and then suddenly you're like, wait, there's this girl and like, she's really attractive and like, there's something about like, what is it? I'm technically single, but I've got a great guy waiting at home. You should know I'm bilingual and I can speak in tongues. And I first I was like, oh it's yeah, so and then I was naughty. like, oh wait, bilingual <laughs> and can speak in tongues. Oh, I see what you did there. Um, it was very, like, it was very um, sweet. I liked it. It was nice. It was like... Sweet? No, it was, <laughs> because it's like... Okay, ignore the sexual side of things. <laughs> like, it's... She just innocently wants to fuck her. <laughs> like... oh, I mean, it's not innocent at all. But, like, in a sense of, like, it feels like it's someone realising that they might not be straight. And, yeah, like, okay. not being quite confused about that. And like, it's like, oh, she's coming out of a hump, and I said, oh, I, I like your dress. And like, <laughs> it's just one of those things, it's like, oh, I don't know what's, I'm so confused. And like, um, it happened again, just my luck. This girl grabbed my hand, my confidence shot back up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, oh my god, this is, this is actually kind of lakey adorable of like, someone who's just, they're very confused about themselves. And very yeah. like, Hang on a second, I might be like, I might not be straight and like not really knowing what to do and being like awkward about it and like confused and stuff. I, it, I don't know. I think you have to laugh at like, you know, before you realised you were XYZ, like you have to laugh at a time where you, you weren't quite sure. You're like, how did I not know? Look at you. That's the Look thing. At that's, you. Exa <laughs> that's exactly what I mean. It's that kind of thing of like, you're like. Am I? What am I? Like, you're trying to, like, work out, but not in a, um, not, like, an existential crisis kind of way, just, like, you're reasoning straight. Am I? No. But <clears throat> could it be? Like, you're so confused. So, like, that was, that was what got me. I feel like now, you know, now I'm sort of comfortable with my sexuality, I look back and I'm like, what a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking dumbass! How did you not realize that like one plus one equals two? Like, come on, come on! It's yeah, just, you just took time, you just took time. Did you, do you feel like that? How did I not realize? I mean, you were less like promiscuous, let's say. <laughs> I mean, I, I just kissed like a lot that. of people. I in definitely my felt teenagers. like that. There's a point where I was like, ah. Oh. Well, this is an interesting development. This is a... Yeah, it definitely, like... It was like this slow, dawning realisation for me, I think. Like, I didn't even know it was one... I think the point where I was like, wait a second, was like... It was... <laughs> I think I'd already become comfortable with it, and I was just like, yes, oh, sorry. This is it, this is the thing. Um, It's very weird, it's very weird, like... So rubber band, sorry, I've got my ring light in the way. So rubber oh band God, is your band, last yeah. one. And I actually obviously says a lot about it with just the title, this rubber band. Like the, the message in the song is sort of, 
the idea you know um if you have like anxiety or a lot of people who uh have self-harmed they get recommended to have a rubber band on their wrist and to ping it every time they get anxious or have a negative thought or whatever is a way of um like i guess snapping yourself out of i it. have one for a, for a while I, I used to go around with one for a while and it's really bad um because it was just a good like breaking habit kind of thing i guess yeah i I'm, i've i always had hair bands on so i in theory like i could have if i wanted to i i just fiddle with everything though and and take things off so but um i thought it was like really uh there's a lot of imagery there yeah with that song um and it was like fun still and upbeat but with a very realistic it is it's very um i like because it there's something about okay like just flicking a rubber band so if you're not aware of what it kind of means if you're not if you're not you know if if you're not um, (laughs) if you're not traumatized if if you're not one of us you're not a mess um you know, it just looks like, you know, it's a bit like, oh, maybe they're just like a bit you're of a fidgeter or, or something, fidget. you know, or they're bored or something. Um, and then, but it, I kind of feel like this song and it sounds like something that's just like, oh, it's just a bop, it's just a bop. And actually it's this like really horrible, well, like really sad thing of like, basically she's blaming um, her partner for, for messing up. Um, yeah. And like, is like, use your fault. You fucked it, <laughs> um, and I, I'm, I, I'm not going back there, you know. Like, yeah. you're not good for me. You so every time I think about you, I'm just gonna like, then be like, nope, back down to earth. Remember, remember the bad stuff. Um, it's kind of like that, you know. It's weird. There's that same kind of like imagery stuff. Of just it's weird. Yeah. It really reminded me like the style of Mimi Webb. I don't know if you've heard Mimi Webb. She's just released a song called Dumb Love. I'll send... I'll, Possibly. You, you, next... you, you'll probably send me a song and I'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, it's, it's, an, it's, it's only been released recently, but it, it just sort of reminded me of the style, her style. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was a bop. It is a bop, a it definitely bop, is. Bop, it's bop, definitely bop. one of those, like... <laughs> it's very chill. I feel like this week I've kind of gone for, like... Oh, my God, so chill. Yeah, well, like, it's very... Restrained. Our songs all kind of mesh well, really. This yeah, week. I thought so. I thought so. It's very weird how I love it when I. And I didn't this listen. Thing. I didn't listen to yours before I put mine in either. So. No. It's very weird. Um, it, it's all like it all it holds together so well. I'm so proud of us. Um, we, I like it. It's a so pop. in sync. So yeah, we that was a uh, rubber band by Tate McCrae. It's uh Oh yeah, I didn't even say a name. Check it out. <laughs> um. Um. Oh, we're on, our, on, on the last one. We're on the last one, and I, I've I'm seen a lot the of, uh, of this. So this is "Girls Like Girls" by Haley Kiyoko. Kiyoko. Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of her around recently. Um, yeah. I any um. Yeah. What, what, I mean, um, yeah. it's. I just. I mean, it's so simple. It's just like girls like girls like boys do. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. That's. And that just summarizes the whole song to me the the idea that i guess people i think assume that if you're in a same sex relationship that it's something different to a opposite sex relationship me and my sister and this have this joke often um, because yeah. we, I think it's, I think it comes from a Reddit thing of like, um, you know, you see two guys and you're like, oh, that's adorable. And you, you know, you're like, you, you might be able to accept that they're gay. If you see, it's like a boomer thing, especially of like seeing two girls and say, like, oh, it's just gals being pals. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, they're just friends, nothing more, just friends. And like, I think, um, my sister was telling me about a post where two women had, they got married. They're both dressed in wedding dresses and they got married. And someone writes beneath it, Oh, what a Where's cute what a cute photo. Where are their husbands? And it's like, oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and it makes us laugh so much because it just like 
it, it cracks up because it's like you don't get it do you you don't understand that girls can like girls um <laughs> it's just like i think for me like I'd be sat with a group of guys. I mean, I was always friends with loads of guys, more so than women, mm. um, until I was a bit older and moved to schools and stuff and then realised that most men are absolute tools. Um, <laughs> no. um, love you guys. Sorry for insulting your gender. No, I'm joking. Um, I said most. So. I said most, you're fine. Um, but... I'd be sit there and guys be like, oh yeah, look at her ass. I'm like, yeah, that's a good ass. And I didn't, you know, you think, oh, I'm, I'm thinking it in a respectful way though. And then it was like, can you respectfully look at someone's ass? <laughs> and then I was just like, I'm probably thinking the exact same thing as them. So yeah, I don't know, like that just sort of summarizes it for me, like, um, I, I, it's sort of a bit political, I guess. I don't know, political, like commenting on so society. Um, but the conversation of, I, I posted on Instagram about how women kissing women or girls kissing girls is con considered, um, like, overtly sexual like it's fetish fetish sized are you alive i'm alive i'm just listening I'm, I'm, oh I'm, I'm sorry listening. it went it went so quiet there no, was no I, i'm just deep in like listening um i panicked then because i didn't want to like go on this like whole tangent no, no, and then no, you no, not no, be you're there good. you're good you're um good. where was i um what was you're I saying doing? about um, girls kissing girls at parties being oh, fetishized. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's been fetishised so much. And I was actually really disappointed. Uh, somebody, I saw on someone's sa Snapchat of them kissing a girl with their guy friends and boyfriends there. And they were all jeering to kiss, kiss each other and, and stuff like that. Right. And it was posted on social media, even though it was, like, in a relationship with a guy. And I'd, it wasn't, like... It was, It didn't seem to be, like, a exploring your sexuality when you're there with a bunch of guys and you're recording it and posting it on social media. That's not, like... Mm -hmm. it's, I don't know. There was... And it just sort of pissed me off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I... It's... If you want to kiss someone at a party, kiss someone at a party, like, th that's fine, but don't fetishise it because it invalidates women loving women when they're on a night out and they want to show affection to someone. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not right. It's like, I don't want to be in a, a club, um, obviously, <laughs> it's not like happening now, is it? Because, um, I ended up with Pierce, but if, Whenever I've kissed girls in clubs, there's there's always been people like looking or or commenting, um, and I said to Pierce yesterday, I explained this to him. I said, actually, the girl who I was dating before him, um, we were in the street in the middle of the night and we had a kiss, and there was like no one there, and then a bus went past and. Uh, or there was some fucking jeering mm. and it was just so like it It then makes you question oh am I doing this for somebody else's attention or, or whatever it just it it's just unfair didn't... to have that pushed on to you effectively but because it know. confused I think that's what really confused me with my sexuality was oh I, I like doing this because it means I get attention from guys mm. Mm. and that was what I was sort of taught that that mm. was why, and I was like, hang on, if I want to do this behind closed doors, then is it really like well, exactly. <laughs> somebody else's? Yeah. yeah. The thing I got with this song is I um I listened to it and I was like, it was the line um da, 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 da. girls like girls like boys do nothing new. And I yeah. Was like, it is nothing new. That's the thing, isn't it? Like it's weird how. Why um, is this a new concept to people? How do I put it? So like, okay. Let's say that situation you're talking about, um, and you're on a date, and you, you're just having a kiss in the street, whatever, fine. And there's a good... 
if I switch that out and we put two guys there instead, would they have got the same kind of jeering? Mm, no. No, they might. In if anything, fact, it they might probably have become, would have got a negative. Yeah, yeah. It would be something very different. Um, but it's like, it's not, even though there are people who are prejudiced against it and people who don't like it, it's fully accepted that boys can like boys, you know? That's that's in it. People uh, often like to, um, you know, there are definitely homophobic people out there who choose to become violent towards towards uh, yeah. gay men or whatever. It's, it's how I, I see it like this, okay? It's like, it's accepted that guys like guys and it, it, that's fine. With women, it's seen as like, I've heard it in, I've heard people say it, I've heard it mentioned online, I've heard it all over the place, where it's like, you, you like girls, but like, I could change that. I could, I could yeah. fix that. Like, if you slept with me, you, you, you wouldn't, you know, you, you'd be different. And it's like, as if it's something to be fixed, you know? It's like assuming... It's, it's a strange yeah, thing, it's a one-off, it's a, a mistake, a confusion, a misunderstanding. And a, lot of, a lot of people seem to think that it's because their previous sexual experiences with a male it wasn't satisfying like wasn't good enough and that's why they like women because mm. <laughs> so, it's oh, assumed you that it's a I'll sexual it. thing oh yeah know, I'll, I, I'll I can prove yeah that's i'll safe. be better and i'll oh it's a very odd but you know and it it at the heart of that is a kind of um an assumption a, a kind of view of the world that the natural state is for girls to like boys and that's it and that's it. the only like as if to say the only reason a girl would not like boys is because a girl had had a bad experience with a boy and therefore she likes other girls because of that is it like the only way that a woman could be attracted to another woman is if a man had disappointed her and therefore by having a man who won't disappoint her it will restore the balance of things oh. Um, and this song was like a very clear fuck you to what is something you know clearly that's bullshit clearly yeah, that doesn't yeah, make yeah. any fucking sense at all um and this song was like a really good fuck you of just like girls like girls like boys do nothing new song is a bop and i love it <laughs> song is a bop it inspired a great conversation <laughs> On that note, we have really enjoyed your company this episode. It has been a wild one. It's good to have you um, all back. Yeah. And thank you for tolerating Chris's uh, solo career. I can only <laughs> apologise, you know. I, it amazes me that people chose to listen to it. Thank you for, um, for, for, for watching. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. No, it wasn't. It was entirely fair enough. I, My God. I, no. Look, uh, we're not. I love you. There is never going to be a solo podcast. If there Aww. is, it's like a one-off occurrence. I, it, it cannot happen. The World to Race podcast will never go solo. But thank you all for for sticking with us as always. Please go and check us out in all the usual places. Um, also, if you have not, someone actually, I didn't tell you. Um, oh. I didn't realize that we weren't listed on a, a podcast. That we weren't on. Um, Called Podcast Addict. Um, we weren't on okay. that for some reason. Well, we aren't. Oh. Good news. Um, oh. But also, a friend of ours, a friend of mine, sorry, left a review. Um, oh. Like a really cute five star review, and was like really kind about it, and it's really cool. And it made me think if you um if you do have the option like on your podcast app to leave a review, um, we would really appreciate oh, that. Yeah. That would be amazing if you if you had the time. I mean, no, no, no pressure. But if you had the time, um, it would definitely be a boost. Um, you know that whole numbers game. But if thing. you start, if you start, you'll think. Don't um, give an in idea. the nicest possible Don't way. Give an idea. Oh, that's it. It's ruined it. It's if dead. you say it in the nicest. I'm not going way. on to Apple Podcasts and seeing in the nicest possible way. You guys suck. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that. Look, it's been awesome. It's been emotional. It's been odd. Goodbye. I'm done now and I need a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a fun editing session. Don't I always? Okay. <sighs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>